How's it going guys? Android versus iOS here today. WWDC was just a few weeks back and with it came iOS 6. So in this video we're going to be exploring my personal top 5 favorite features. Now this is the beta one and let's get started. And starting out at number 5 is mail enhancements. Before if you wanted to star someone as a really important person you really couldn't. You could make your own separate tag or contact for them but that was it. But with iOS 6 we now have a feature called VIP. In your contact book, you can label anyone as a VIP, and in the mail application, they will have a little star next to them. And when a new mail comes in, instead of just a dot, it'll be a filled in star, and then when you read it, it'll become an empty star. And the star thing is important to me because if I have something that's really important, like a work email, or a personal email with a specific due date, or new information coming in, I can star whoever that's coming from, and it'll appear in this VIP inbox right here. And also, one of the coolest little new animations they added was the mail refresh animation which you just drag from the top it'll kind of stretch it out like something like a slinky and snap it back up and refresh your inbox At number four we have passbook in this beta it is just a, a information screen right here it doesn't work yet and obviously it'll work when iOS 6 is officially released but what I like about this is you can get all of the crap out of your wallet and into this app you know if you trust it you can use boarding passes tickets store cards coupons and uh, the big thing for me is going to be movie theater tickets. I always go to the movies. I go to a movie probably uh, once or twice a month, and I just love the movies. And so that will be a great way to keep all my movie tickets in there. Don't have to print. Don't have to use uh, paper products. And don't have to wait for the slow text message with the, the QR code. And now number three is Facebook integration. With iOS 5, we've got a nice little Twitter option here in our settings app. Well, with iOS 6, we now have a Facebook option. Here we can sign in with our email and our password, go ahead and install the Facebook app and all that. And with this, it integrates all of the previous push notifications the Facebook app used to give you right into the OS. So for example, all of your friends' birthdays could show up in your calendar app, or you could sync all your Facebook contacts with your iOS contacts. Android's been doing this for a while, but this is a nice addition to iOS. And also, use a little widget when you sign in, tap to post, it'll appear right here next to the tap to tweet icon. And at number two, it is Siri enhancements. With iOS 6, Siri got a pretty big overhaul. It can do everything from movie reviews to sports scores to even launch an app now. So let's go ahead and try it. How tall is Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning is six foot five. So with the new Siri, you can integrate all sorts of sports scores from ESPN and other sports sources. Let's go ahead and try uh, Rotten Tomatoes. When does Prometheus show? I found this for you. No show times near current location. So there's no show times near my current location, but if there were, it would pop up a nice movie reel looking interface with the Rotten Tomatoes review and some local show times. Launch Temple Run. I don't see an app named Temple Run. Well, looks like there's no Temple Run on right now. Launch messages. And there are all my messages. And at number one, it is the Maps application. Now this screenshot was actually leaked a few months back and everyone was thinking that iOS 6 would have a complete user interface overhaul because of the silver elements right here. That was in fact not the case and this is only applicable to the Maps application. Taking a look around, we have our current location button right here, a 3D button right here, our navigate button right here, search bar right here, bookmarks tab right here, and a little page pull up which will let us change some settings. Now Apple completely ditched Google Maps and started doing their own mapping. Now they uh, partnered with TomTom Tom to provide Siri turn-by-turn -turn directions, which I'll do a video on later. And it is so much better because we have all sorts of different settings right here. Turn-by-turn -turn directions are great, and overall it's just a much better application. And not in this beta, but soon the 3D button will completely work for all cities and locations, and will give us a cool flyover effect, and we can view all sorts of cities in full 3D. Well, that's it for iOS 6 Beta 1. I'm Android vs. iOS. Thanks for watching.